Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here for Red Giant, and in this quick tip, I just wanted to show you a really cool new feature in Primat Keyer. It's especially useful in situations where you're filming in front of a green screen and you don't have ideal lighting. Now, I want to say that this footage was filmed at Orion Media, which is a green screen studio that I work with. They are the largest green screen studio in the Southern Hemisphere, and they really know what they're doing. They know what they're doing so much, in fact, that when I asked them to send me some bad green screen footage, they didn't really have anything with poor lighting. So they went back and actually filmed this actress in a situation where they shut off a bunch of lights on this side and uh, a little bit they had some light blocked over here. So we created a, a non-uniform uh, green background. Now granted, a lot of the problems you're going to get rid of uh, when you are uh, keying is uh, going to happen when you do a garbage mat. You're going to cut out the actor or actress or whatever it is you're keying and just have a small area that you're going to be doing. But even then, there's shadows and depending on the situation, some even poor lighting that will be directly behind them. And so this feature called Adjust Light is really going to be ideal for that kind of situation. So I've got here this actress in front of a green background that is not ideally lit and I'm going to turn on this awesome feature called Adjust Light and poof! nothing happens. That's because it doesn't know what color it's looking for yet. So I'm going to slide down here a little bit and start with, uh, I'll start with a base color sample of green and just sample something around her. And already you can see the difference. This makes a tremendous difference. And again, you know, it's not perfect. It's not going to get rid of the more extreme stuff, but that can even be handled once you start uh, doing your keying operation with all of these tools that are down here. But basically this is uh, an after and this is before and you can see how much of a difference that makes. You can even go as far as showing a split screen. i turn this off and tell it to go to um, view our uh, comp in one and turn on split screen and view the adjust light foreground in the back. And you can just play with the split screen and you can see that's the original slightly keyed out, just a couple of pixels are keyed out already. Um, but you can see the difference that it makes. Anyway, I hope that this helps you in working with Primat Keyer. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Once again, Aaron Rabinowitz for Red Giant.